welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple box. Uh, this is probably something that you're going to do um, at the start of your woodworking journey, but you, you, you're always making boxes or you always end up making boxes and, and stuff like that. So the whole point of this video is to try and show you how you can make these sorts of things with minimal tools, maybe a saw, a planer. Uh, I am going to use a few power tools just to speed things up, but you should be able to do it by hand uh, and I'll, I'll talk you through that as well. So if you want to impress your wife with something that you can make in the garage, um, then stay to the end. And if you're enjoying the video, please subscribe. Right, let's start. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some timber. So this is quite a small project, so you don't need that much timber. So I'm imagining that you'll probably be able to use a little bit of scrap wood that you'll have knocking around. So what I got is I've got some six by one PAR, which is just standard white wood. For the base, I've used some six mil ply. So get all those bits together, put them out, and then decide on, on how big the, the box is gonna the box is gonna be. Right, let's start with the lid. So the box that I'm gonna make is a little bit, it's gonna be a bit wider than the, the, the six by one. So I'm gonna join the two bits together. So the way that I use, the way that I join bits of timber together, as you'll probably have seen on many other videos I've done, is that I just butt them together. So to do that, get the two pieces of timber, stick them in a vise or, or, or cramp them or clamp them to the edge of a desk or, or, or whatever you've got uh, and plane the one end so it's flat and square. Then get the other piece, plane the one end that, that you're going to join together and then put it on top of the other piece and just make it sit, make sure it sits absolutely perfectly and when it does it's, it's, it's ready so you, you'll just have to do a bit of Fiddling about, a bit, of, bit of fettling with your with your planer, uh, and then it'll be it'll once it's once it's flat and it touches all along, then it's ready to go. So, get yourself some clamps uh, or something like that to me to put some apply some pressure to it. Uh, put some glue on one end, put some glue on the other end. Uh, push them together, rub them along the joint just to evenly distribute the glue, uh, and then get your clamps and just clamp it up. Uh, not too much pressure, not, not really required, just enough to just to squeeze a bit of the glue, uh, glue out. Um, if you put too much pressure on, then you're going to end up damaging the timber and everything, but um, yeah, so don't worry about that. Um, once you've done that, just check that it's in line because you haven't used any biscuits or anything like that. You just need to just make sure that it's in line as you're clamping it up. Once you've got it in line, then um, set it aside and put it away somewhere. So. Let's do the box sides. So what I'm gonna do with the box sides is the six by one is a bit too deep for what I want. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna cut them in half, but this is gonna give me the opportunity to get rid of some bits and some, 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 some screw holes down the center. So I've just um, marked from either side and I've left a little bit in the middle. Uh, and then what that gives you is a, uh, a nice place to saw cut straight through. Um, and then once you've cut it down the middle, then stick it in the vise again, and plane them down, plane them down, uh, so they're all the same height. Uh, and you just you just check and put them against each other and you'll see that they're all height. And then just take them for square as well, get them nice and square. So the, the next thing for consideration is how do you get the base in? So if you haven't got a router table or a uh, circular saw, you can do this by planting a strip on the inside um, and that will form a little bit of a rebate and then uh, base in after that. I'm going to use a table because I find putting a groove in for bases of boxes and stuff like that piece of cake because I've got the, because I've got the router table, I think it just gives it a bit of a better finish but not necessarily required, don't need to do it but I, I think it's, it, it just gives it a bit of an extra touch of professionality. Or professionalism. Um, so there you go. Stick that in. Get set your router up. Uh, push your pieces through. Put put a, a groove in of about four or five mil or something like that. So for this joint to join the box together, I'm going to use the miters, and I'm not going to put any splines in because this is quite um, quite a small box. There's no need to put splines in. If I put splines in, I, I would do that for something slightly bigger and something that's going to, that's going to actually need a bit more strength. But because it's a tiny box, it's, there's no need for that sort of strength. So 
what you can do is you can cut the mitre, you can cut it by hand with a ha hand saw and, finish, and, just, and just finish it off with a, with a, a planer, or you can use a pullover cross cuts or, or you know, like a, a cross cut saw. Um, for me, you could do it by hand, but because I've got the cross cut saw, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it on the machine. So oops, just, just pull it all over, get them all, get them all right, um, cut them all to length, and then the sides finish. So get your piece of base material uh, after that uh, and just work out what size it needs to be. Um, if you're putting the plant on strip, wait until the book wait until you've glued up the box and everything and put the base in at the last thing. But if you're putting it in the groove, you've got to put it in now, otherwise you won't be able to get it in once you've glued it up. So cut the base to what, what it needs to be. Uh, and then it's time to glue, it's time to glue up. Right, gluing the box up. Because there are no splines, if you use the clamps, uh, it's it means, it means it's quite awkward because they don't really hold in place. So a neat little trick here, and it also saves you having any clamps, is to use some duct tape. So turn the pieces um, uh, mitre down onto the table in a long line, like this, and then put stick tape at the joint, at the joint, at the joint. So put stick tape on all, all the joints. Flip it over, glue it all up, glue the joints up, glue the joints up, put the glues on. Put a little dab of glue in the in the in the um, in the groove for the um, for the base, just to stop it from moving around once once you've glued it in, um, and then fold it all up together, and then close the final joint with a bit of tape, and that should pull all of that should pull everything together, close your joints up, uh, and keep it and hold it square, ready for you, ready for the next for the next step. Uh, it's quite quite a nice way of doing it and saves on a lot of messing about with tools and everything like that. You can try and clamp, clamp it up, but it's a, it's a bit awkward without the splines. Right, lid part two. So the lid should now be dry. It should be it should be glued together. So what you want to do is use the box as a template to decide how big the the lid's going to be. I'm going to make the lid. Um, four or five mil bigger than the actual box on each side. So draw around the box and then offset that line by four or five mil, whatever you want that to be, and then cut that down. Uh, again, I'm using the pullover cross cut because it's quicker, but you can use, use the hand saw, you, you know, good, good skills for you. Um, and then once you've got that, then plane the edges to get a nice crisp finish. So remember, always plane into the timber, don't plane over the edge because you'll split it out, you'll break it out to the back. So plane in, plane in. Uh, and then just get the middle nice and flat. And then once you've got the edge exactly as you want it, uh, to the line that you, you've drawn, then you're ready to start putting a rebate in. So don't need to put a rebate in. You can put a plant on piece of timber from a bit of ply or something like that, and then that'll set the box lid in the box. But if you've got the round table or you've got a table saw, you can put a bit of a, a rebate in. And what that'll enable to do is to, it'll, it'll thin the edge, it'll make it look quite delicate, and it'll also play, it'll, it'll set the, the, the lid in the box. So it's um, no need for hinges or anything like that. So again, get your round table up, um, take, take it off, take off all four sides. So just keep putting it through uh, and just keep putting it through until eventually you'll be able to get the box lid in to the, um, into the box. Um, just give yourself a little bit of a clearance as well and just tidy it all up. Uh, and then broadly, that, well, that's the router, that's the router bit done. Next bit, finishing. It's the, it's the, it's the fun bit, or, or can be annoying because it, it takes a bit of time. So for me, because this is quite soft timber, uh, I think you can get away with P80 mainly. So uh, on this one, I put a little bit of a chamfer around with my with my planer all the way around, uh, and then I finished it off with P80 uh, and just get all the sort of damage, all the all the all the, all the planer marks and everything out of all, all the sides. Once you've done that, then get some P180 or something like that, and then sand it all down and get the P80 marks out of the, uh, the timber, so P180. Right, various finishes you could use. You could use French polish if you wanted to, probably a little bit over the top on this. Um, a, f a, a nice 
uh, finish that I've used quite a lot is shellac, uh, so painted on shellac, uh, sanded back, uh, and then furniture polish. That's really nice, really finished, really nice glossy, lustrous finish. Um, on this one though, because it's quite a, a rustic box or, or whatever, I'm just gonna uh, finish it off with a bit of linseed oil. So it'll, it'll, it'll give it, it'll, it'll color it a little bit, uh, and it'll give it a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a finish to stop it from marking when you're using it. And it's, it's really quick to apply, as you can see. It just took me about two or three minutes, and it gave it quite a nice finish. So easy. Um, so that's the end of the video. So yeah, as you can see, it's a it's a really nice little box, handy. Put things in it and stuff like that. Um, it's you know, but it's also quite a nice little test as you can see there's no gaps I've got no gaps or anything like that um, and it's it looks quite nice so you can do do what you want but it's, it's, it's the testing of your of your skills um, and, you know, once you've done that you can start working up to sort of slightly more complex complex things with comb joints and all that sort of stuff with with sliding sort of things and and dividers so there's, there's a lot you can do with a box it's actually quite useful Anyway, if you've enjoyed it, subscribe. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.